What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about leveling up, changing divisions, and how to deal with defeat. Okay, so before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click on the notification button so you get notices when I make videos. So I, lately I've been making them practically daily, so, yeah, yeah, I there's a lot going on in my mind uh, when it comes to fitness and martial arts. And so, yeah, I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, let's get into it. So this is a follow-up video of uh, the one I made recently, which was called um, Got My Ass Beat in Competition, something like that. Yeah, so in that video, I didn't go into do too much details about... Um, why I had such a hard time in that competition. So in this video, I want to elaborate on that. So here's the thing. I'm a judo player, and it's been about two years and a half now, a little bit more, that I've been practicing judo. Uh, so I'm a blue belt, and blue belt, If uh, for those of you guys who might not know, you're actually in the middle, okay? So what I mean by that is, right after blue, you have brown and black belt. And under blue, you have green, um, orange and yellow and of course when you start off you just a white belt so i'm like right in between there right in the middle and what happens when you go to competition and you're right in the middle there well if there's enough blue belts then you'll complete with the blue belts if not then you go up to brown and black so that's what happened at the last competition and the one the competition before the last one I won, I, I was fighting blue belts and a green belt and I, I won that competition. So I took first place, I was really happy about that. And this competition, nope, that didn't happen. Uh, there wasn't enough blue belts. So we all, all the blue belts, were, I think we were maybe two or three and we all ended up fighting uh, in the uh, brown belt and black belt category. Now brown and black belt, this is where it's considered in the judo world um, the big boys playing field, okay? And these guys, and I actually registered in the senior uh, division, okay? So senior division means 21 and up. And most of these guys are in their early 20s. I'm 39 years old, so I'm competing against these guys. Now, it doesn't mean as much when we're not in the, uh, the big boys division, Okay, we're, we're still like blue, green, orange, uh, yellow. It's, it's because these guys don't, like, don't have a lot of experience either, right? And I'm, I've been able to keep myself in shape enough, fit enough to compete physically with these guys. And technically, well, we're both uh, pretty much on the same level. But now here's the thing. Even though I'm... My, my physicality is still good going into uh, this big boy division, the more advanced divisions, uh, brown and black belt. The thing is, these guys are brown and black belt and they've been training since they were kids. So they have a lot more technique, a lot more experience uh, than I do. So I got my ass whooped. Well, I had two fights. The first one, uh, if you guys remember from the last video, if you don't, anyways, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, the black belt, I, I faced this black belt and he whooped my ass in like a, a minute and a half. I couldn't dominate my gri uh, the grip fighting game. I wasn't aggressive enough, so he took me down. Boom, Epon, it's over, next. So then, second fight comes around, brown belt. I, t I talked to my coach and he told me what I had to do. Um, to, to stand a chance, you know, and what the adjustments I had to make uh, compared to what I did with the first fight. So then I fought much harder for uh, my grips. And uh, so it was actually a competitive matchup. It lasted about three minutes and a half. And I ended up losing by points anyway, but I did a little bit better there. So now, this video, I want to talk about what my coach told me. He said, listen, we're going to have to you have to temper your expectations. Now, this is something that every judoka has to go through, okay, when they're competing, a competitive judoka, okay? So once you hit blue belt, here's the thing, when you do a competition, chances are 
Uh, sometimes if there's enough, um, you know, maybe green and blue belts, then they'll put you guys together and you guys will have your own little uh, division and fight amongst yourselves. But a lot of the times, you go up, buddy. <laughs> so you're facing these younger guys, more experienced, more advanced. And here's the, here's the timeline for this. I'm going to keep losing. Well, not keep losing, but this is what my coach is telling me. I'm going to have a hard time for a year to two years competing with these guys. And that's just how it goes. There's no easy way out here. There's no shortcuts. There's no nothing. Um, there's only just hard work, suffering, and learning from a lot of loss and, and failure. And, you know, of course, there'll be disappointments. But I don't really get disappointed at this point because I've, I've lost a lot before in, in, uh, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitions. Um, when I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I did about, so just to little side note, at one point I was doing, uh, it, when in my thirties, I was doing uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I did that for about six years. And for the first three years, I competed maybe 10 times and I lost every single one of those competitions. I might have won one or two fights, yeah, you know, but I don't, yeah. I think I won, I remember winning one or two, or maybe three. But anyways, uh, so I'm used to losing. Um, and then only towards the end, like around the last, last competition that I did in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I still lost, but it was highly competitive. And people who watch, it sucks that I don't have videos of that, but hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep making new ones as I, as I go along now for Judo. But it was very competitive and... Everyone who was watching the fight was very congratulated me on a, a tremendous fight, even though I ended up losing. So anyways, uh, after that, I stopped competing and I just did BJJ for three years without competition. Then I switched over to judo. Judo, right away, I was like thrown back into competitions. And one of the reasons for that is that judo is much, much cheaper uh, than, than, uh, than BJJ. Uh, not only in terms of how much you pay uh, for your, your, your school fees, you know, your monthly fees to your club, but also competition. I would tell you it's like half, man. You know, so like if you're paying like, let's say 60 bucks, then it's, you know, or 60 to 100 bucks for BJJ competitions. In judo competitions, you're paying half that. So you're paying anywhere between uh, 30, 40 bucks and only at like the international competitions where it's kind of a, a open, um, that's when you can uh, can actually have, um, how do you say it? That's when it goes up to like $80, but I mean, it's, it's really nothing compared to BJJ, right? But um, okay, so let me get back on track here. So this is what my coach told me. I'll be dealing with losses for a year and a year and a half, and then I'll, I'll, at one point, I'll start winning. You know, like if anything, if you're consistent and you just keep working at it, you get experience, you get better, you improve, and to me, competition is a testing ground to see where I'm at, to see, to correct my errors and to, to, um, to at the same time reinforce what is already good and even bring it, uh, bring it beyond, right? Bring it to the next level. So I'm not worried about losing and, and getting my ass kicked for the next year, year and a half. And so, but we have to go step by step here. And this is what my coach told me. I gave that brown belt, right, a hard time. So he said, when I go up against brown belts, I have to tell myself, I gotta beat this guy. I gotta beat this guy. So my first objective uh, in, in competition from now on, when I'm with these, uh, with the big boys there, you know, is to beat a brown belt. Okay, so I'm a blue belt right now. Uh, I... My coach tells me I'm close to a brown belt, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that because it's not just about performance in competition uh, when it comes to belts in judo. It also has to do with you knowing the techniques, uh, the names, being able to execute them, and also having the right values and, and, um, and all of that, you know, according to your coach, right? So I'm very close, but... Competitive in competition, I have something to prove, and my first objective is to beat a brown belt. Okay, and then when I go up against a black belt, I shouldn't be thinking I'm gonna beat this guy. Mind you, I still have to be confident and want to beat him, 
but I should see it more as a learning exp uh, experience to learn from this guy, you know? To, it's kind of like, if in my head it's, I'm sparring with a, um, my instructor, my coach, like I've never beaten my coach once. I might've thrown him, but it's because he just let me, just to show me that that move was actually good. But I mean, at his level, he has like 30 years of judo. So like, man, he can cancel everything I do. And he's also much bigger, right? So he's like, what, 90, 90 kilos, man? I'm, I'm 73. Big, big weight disadvantage, but he's so strong, so fast, so technical. Anyways, um, so what I mean by that is that when I go up against these black belts, it's all going to be about, this, is a, this guy is like my coach. I'm going to try and run through him, but it's going to be a learning experience, <laughs> most likely, okay? And what's fun about competition is that I meet guys who are in my weight category. Sometimes what's, what's, uh, what sucks about uh, if you only train at your club, and uh, not that it sucks, but if at your club you don't have guys your weight, then, then it's not a real representation of, of uh, how you're, you're, you're able to execute your skills, okay? Because when a guy is heavier, ugh, guys, size matters. And when the guy's smaller, then you can muscle his ass and, you know, that's when you see, yeah, size matters. You know, you're bigger, stronger, heavier. You can bend that guy in half and just, wow, ah, ragdoll him, right? Um, so that's it. So when you go into competition and you're able to meet guys from other clubs, you never seen him. So you have to be able to adapt and impose your style right away and vice versa. And at the same time, he's the same weight category. So it's great because now you can really like have, um, you can really compare uh, apples to apples and oranges to oranges. Okay, so this video is a little bit longer than, 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 than what I like, but I think I pretty much uh, covered everything I had to say. If you guys have any comments, questions, please leave them down there and I'll get back to you. Uh, it's not like if I'm, uh, I'm huge at this moment. Uh, so I have, ample time to to uh, to answer all of your your questions and comments and you know and what I really want to do with this channel is to build a community well I think any youtuber wants to build a community right but I want it to be where we can share discuss exchange ideas in 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 the in the spirit of improving ourselves as martial artists whatever type of martial art you practice now my main focus at this point is uh uh, is judo because I really want that black belt. I really want to have a, uh, a certain level of mastery in this art because it's, it's just who I am. Uh, but I am very, I've, I've done boxing, Muay Thai, wrestling. I still do wrestling actually uh, once a week. And, you know, all the striking arts and all the traditional arts and stuff like that, it's, you know, it's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all great in my opinion. And if I had... Uh, my objective at one point is to be able to do this full time, kind of like Shane Faison. So I'd be running around doing training in all sorts of uh, uh, martial arts and I'll be competing because I love it. And uh, that's why I emphasize fitness a lot because if you're able to maintain your health and your fitness, then you're able to enjoy all of this and do this for so much longer at... Um, I wouldn't, I don't want to say a higher level, but at a, at a quality level, you know, and you're having fun and, and, and you're developing and it feels good to be a martial artist slash warrior. I think it's something that, uh, a lot of us feel as men that we need, um, we need a way to, to express this competitiveness, this testosterone, this aggressive, uh, aggressiveness that we have, uh, which is pretty much genetic and hardwired into our brains from, from my understanding. I, I read a lot of books on, on, um, on genetics, uh, history and, and health and, and psychology and stuff like that. So that's why, uh, that's where that comes from. Uh, if ever I say anything, uh, that's not just my opinion, right? Uh, you guys could always ask me where I got it from, uh, in terms of reference and uh, I'll reference you uh, the material if I didn't already in the video. Okay, so that being said, like, comment, subscribe, click on notification button, helps me to grow, and um, that's it, man. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, guys. Next video. Peace.